Welcome back to another episode with Pixelweb. Uh, today I want to talk about a plugin that will make keeping your WordPress powered website updated very easy to do. Now, we all heard the news about 1.5 million or more websites have been defaced because of a, of a security issue uh, that was resolved um, with the latest release of the 4.7.2 security release. But unfortunately, not every WordPress powered website has been updated. So if you are running anything lower than 4.7.2, you need to update. Now I get it. You know, we all live busy lives. You know, we have, you know, our jobs, we have our hobbies, we have our families, we have a lot of things on our plate. So logging in every single day to our site, you know, is something that maybe we don't have the time to do. Maybe we're a part-time blogger. We blog maybe once a week, once a month, and, you know, just sharing ideas as they come up. I understand, you know. Um, there's always options, though. You can farm out the responsibility of having somebody maintain your site and there's a lot of providers i provide the service and there's a lot of great providers out there that'll be more than happy to make sure that your website is up to date uh backed up and secure which is extremely important you know but not everybody wants to farm out that job so you know what can you do to make sure you don't have to log in every day to your site but your website stays up to date with the latest security patches, theme updates, plugin updates, things of that nature. All right, so to get started, let me introduce you to the plugin. So I'm gonna go here to the plugin section and I'm going to add new. I already have it installed, but I'm just gonna show you the process. And the plugin is called Easy Updates Manager. Just type it in. It's gonna be the first one that pops up over here. So. Easy Updates Manager, manage all your WordPress updates, including individual updates, automatic updates, logs, and loads more. Also works with WordPress multi-site, which is a very advanced feature. Um, you see five-star reviews, over 100,000 plus active installs. It's compatible with the latest version of WordPress. Um, it's a really good you know, plugin, it's well maintained. It's, it's good, I mean, it covers pretty much everything you'll need in order to keep your site updated without having to log in every day. All right, so once you install and activate it, um, there's a couple places you can get to it. One, if you're already in the installed plugins area, um, you can go to the configuration link right there, and then it'll bring you back to this panel. There's another one. If you notice over here in the left-hand sidebar, on the dashboard, you now have another link. There's home, updates and updates options. So you could also click on that one and it'll bring you here as well. So let's take a tour of the interface. You have the, on the left hand side here, uh, WordPress updates. You can toggle all of these on or choose which ones you want. You have all updates, WordPress core updates, all plugin updates, all theme updates, all translation updates. So you can just choose to have those all set. You could also choose automatic updates for major releases, you could toggle that on or off. You know, sometimes you may want to give a day or two for the major releases, um, or you just may have a good protocol in place where you're running consistent backups, where your files and your database are being backed up, and you're you're fine with having it set to automatic updates. So just toggle. You can toggle this on, and then it'll set it. And then you could also have the minor releases. Um, if you want development updates, you know, typically you might need this uh, checked off. Um, this is more for advanced users, um, you know, so you don't have to worry about that one. Translation updates, that's a good one. Have the automatic plugin updates enabled and then the automatic theme updates enabled if you want. And that's what's going to um, make sure that it's updated in the background. So let's quickly, before I jump into the next section, see how this works. We put it to automatically enable for the updates. I'm going to go over here to the plugins, go to editor, and then I'll choose this first one here. This is the version number of the code snippets plugin. So I'll just push that back to the 2.7.0 release. Now the plugin itself is actually the same plugin. I'm just changing the version number. That's what WordPress looks for when determining um, if a plugin is up to date. So I'm going to update this file. 
All right, so now we'll go to installed plugins and you see that there's an update available. All right, so one of the options is now WordPress does a cron job. So a cron job is um, every so often, you know, an update request will be made in the background and that's when updates will happen. So uh, because we're doing this for a test, we're going to go to the update options. We're going to go to the advanced and then we're going to force updates in the background and we're doing this only because it's the um the test version normally it'll just happen in the background you know once every 12 hours or so um depending on when your website sends out a request for updates so here it says uh force update checks have been initialized please check your site in 90 seconds and refresh to test automatic updates all right so let's see All right, so you see that it worked. All right, um, we didn't actually have to update it. Uh, it sent out the request and it updated on its own automatically. So that was just a, you know, a dry run a demonstration of how it works by automatically updating in the background. We forced it because again, we didn't want to wait 12 hours for this video, um, but we forced it in the background, but that's how it would work. And if you go back to plugins installed, you're going to see it's back to the 2.8 and we go back to the editor. You see here, the version number is brought back to 2.8. All right. So that's how you do it. So in the update options, you would just toggle automatic plugin updates and automatic theme updates, or you could just leave it at the default if you want, you know, to manage them, you know, yourself, or you can select individually you know, which ones you want. So just play around with the settings to see what suits your needs. All right. So now in this panel, you'll see the, um, plugins that you have active right now it's set to the plugin update. So we have, I have this code snippets one easy updates manager, and you could toggle which ones you want to automatically update. If you, if there's a particular plugin, you don't want to have a set, you know, to, for whatever reason, you could just toggle that off. And then it also has a theme update. So it'll show you your themes that you have on your um, website. And, you know, you can toggle these on or off to, uh, depending to suit your needs. And then also on the bottom, it says plugin and theme automatic updates. WordPress default controls which updates are automatic or not. And same thing here. All right. So WordPress notifications, core email. So just... Uh, these are just for the notifications part. All right, so now let's go to the general. And then we see this is more global settings. All updates are enabled. You can disable that. WordPress core updates. It just tells you what you have set up. And it's very, you know, easy. It's you just read what that um, option is. And then you can toggle it on or off. And it has all these features here. And then if you want to have another notification email, you know, to a different email account, so you can, you know, place that here. If it's more than one, you can, you know, comma separate it and it'll be good to go. And then browser nag enabled removes the browser nag for people using older browsers. WordPress version in footer enabled removes the WordPress version in the footer. All right. So now when you go to the plugins, this will also give you another opportunity to toggle on or off the um, option to automatically update. You can just choose disallow updates. You know, just go through each of these and decide which ones you want to have. And the same thing for the themes. You can set it to automatically update or I mean, to disallow the updates if you want one by one. And then there's the advanced features that um, you can exclude, you know, certain users, uh, reset, you can reset all your options. If you want to just start from scratch, you could force automatic updates. This will attempt to force automatic updates. It's good for debugging. And then this feature enables a logs tab, which will log all updates that occur. So, you know, you can do that as well. All right. So that's pretty much the tour of the user interface. You know, it sets it the configuration in this panel and the dashboard and you get a lot of control and now you set it 
And once it's set, you can pretty much forget it. You just, you know, let it run itself. And if you don't log in every day, um, you don't have to really be, be that concerned because you know it's going to be automatically updated. Now, some people might say, well, wait, you know, do I want to run automatic updates? Shouldn't I, you know, um, let the newest version be out in the wild for a couple of days, maybe a week to see what any issues may pop up? You know, that is an argument. It's an argument that a lot of, you know, uh, people have raised over the years, you know, because, you know, bugs get fixed with updates, but new bugs get introduced, right? So, but the reality is, you know, we live in a very fast-paced world. Um, the second an issue is identified in the wild with a security patch or vulnerability or whatever, you know, that gets exploited fast. So the longer you wait to update your site, the more vulnerable you're, you become because the, you know, it's very easy for, you know, um, uh, for hackers to scan the web and identify websites that are not running the latest um, and most up-to-date versions. And then if they know which version you're running, they can identify the vulnerabilities that exist in that version because it's public, you know, and then they can exploit that vulnerability. That's why keeping it up-to-date is important. But, you know, to address the issue of, you know, um, potential new bugs, that's why you have to have a good backup, you know, regimen where you back up your database consistently and you back up your files. And there's a bunch of great plugins, you know, that can help you with the process. There's free versions um, and there's paid versions, but as long as you have a copy of your database and your files, you're good to go, you know, because if anything does happen, you can revert from a backup, you know, revert to a backup. So that's it. I mean, this plugin will take care of your um, updates to your WordPress website and themes and plugins and it'll set it for you so you don't have to worry about you know doing it yourself now i always recommend that you log into your website you know often so you can just take a look around see if what's different what's changed you know make sure you have the proper security plugins installed make sure you are running consistent backups and just make sure everything's up to date um, it's just very, it's very important nowadays. I mean, obviously, with so many websites online, you know, with so many attacks taking place on a daily basis, you know, you this is something you need to do. So just do it. It's easy. It's free. It's a free plugin on the WordPress repository. All right. So hopefully you found this episode helpful. And if you did, give us a thumbs up, subscribe, and leave your comments down below. Uh, my goal is to give you the, the tips that you need to properly manage your website. All right, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.